my girl Pam from the 90s group Total. Oh my gosh, Pam. You know, I was sitting there, I was talking to my PD and he was like, hey, we got an interview with Pam. I'm like, Pam from Total? He was like, yeah. I was like, put me on. How are you doing, Miss Lady? What's up, Olympia? I'm doing well. Um, no complaints at all. But listen, I just want, before we go forward, I no longer go as Pam from Total, just Pam Lalonde. All right, Pam Lalonde. Yes, that's it. Yes, ma'am. But I definitely, I'm, I'm so grateful for the love that everybody has had throughout the years. You know, and it's just like when you when you um, evolve, you know what I mean? When you evolve and, and you're going forward in your life, sometimes you got to let go of the past so that you can continue to go forward. So please, no, no disrespect, no, no nothing intended. I just got to make sure that I'm clear about who I am today. That's just right. Pam Lalonde. Yes. <laughs> Now, you, you talked about that you're no longer with Total. Can you right. give us some details on what happened with that situation? You know what? Um, I can look at it as just saying that life just goes on. You know, sometimes for you to continue to move forward, listen, I'm always going to have that in my in my life because of the fact that that's where God started me off in my career. So it's just like Total is always going to be Total. At the same time, too, I do know that sometimes to go forward, you got to let go of some things. And of course, we disbanded in all of those things, but it's no love lost. I still love Kim and Keisha, and I know that they love me. And it's just like, you know, sometimes you just got to continue to go forward with where your life is going. I understand that totally. But you know, the, the fans want to know if there will be a possible total reunion. We got Raphael Sadiq back with Tony, Tony, Tony. Come on now. Yeah, come on, Raphael. You know what? Um, I'm the type of person that will never say never. Um, it all depends on what God has in store right now. He's just telling me to run with Pamela Long, so I'm I'm running, you know. So it's just like, man, I'm I'm up and running. Anybody that that knows the Lord, it's just like when God speaks, don't get me wrong, sometimes we are very hard headed, i.e. me. I me was too. And yes, you know, sometimes you could be so hard headed and, and walking at disobedience. But when, you know, God, thank God for his grace and mercy that we're not supposed to take for granted that he'll mm -hmm. give us another opportunity to get up and run. So I'm running right All now. Right. Running. No doubt. All right. So I saw you on Encore, okay. House Full of Women. And at the end, they said that you were embarking on a, a gospel journey. So are you now doing gospel? Well, you know what? My, my thing is this. Um, I thank God for the answer that he gave me one time. It's just like it's not about singing gospel. It's living the gospel, you know, because anybody can sing a song. Anybody can sing a record, you know, right. um, granted. And I've been there, you know, so I've, I've, I've straddled the fence in the church. So it's just like um, and I, I don't say that with a, a joking matter, because by the grace of God, I am still here. and He's given me another opportunity. But what right. I can say right now is that he's allowing me to do music and it's good music, you know, without the cursing and the sex and, and all of those things. So it's just like. Um, that's where I'm at. And also, do I sing about the Lord? Absolutely. Whatever it is he puts in my heart, I'm willing to sing. And it's just like, I know that I have to be very careful because music carries a lot. And mm -hmm. you got to be careful with the lines that you don't cross them. So that's where I'm at in my life and my journey. All right. You talked about evolution. Talk to us about your evolution. Where are you headed? What, what's going on now with your life? Well, you know what? Right now, thank you for um, thank you for that. Um, I'm I'm excited because right now Pamela Long actually. Let me just start. Um, I'm working a job. Uh, I got a G a J O B. I got to say G O B a J O B. I take me back to school, right? Um, uh -huh. And I actually am working. I'm working at a dance um, studio um, actually in New Jersey, and um, I'm just so grateful that I'm working with kids right now. You know, That's and I'm also fun. I'm also doing uh, working out um, actually because I'm a personal trainer. I'm a certified personal trainer now, so I definitely am working out. And then also, I just dropped a new song. Um, if nobody, if you don't know, it's called The Goonie. It's called Gone uh, Remix, uh, Goonie Remix. Um, it definitely is something that I'm excited about. It's a hot record. It's an Afro beat behind it. And um, I'm just looking forward to all that God has in store for me. So that's where I'm at right now. Drop the video for, for Gone. And um, it's just like the feedback is really, really good. And it's fresh. It's new. It's a new beginning for me. And I'm just excited. So that's where my journey is right now. So it's just like I'm just allowing God to take me on this journey. Now, mind you, when it comes to music, <laughs> you know, my thing is like, all right, God, this um, I sing. But he's uh -huh. taking me in a, in a place. He taken, he's taking me places that I wouldn't have chose for myself. But mm -hmm. what I can say is that it's humbling me. Right. It's humbling right. me out. Like to be around all these kids. It's just like, I'm so grateful because you can learn so much. And it's mm -hmm. just like to see their innocence. Like, it's like God is teaching me innocence all over again. And so I'm excited about what's going on on the inside of me. 
you know, so it's just like I'm I'm definitely grateful for this journey. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been one that I chose. Now now mind you, like <laughs> you know, because a lot of people still want the total music and my thing was like, God, can I do both? You know, because it, it sounds like it's a no-brainer. But mm -hmm. sometimes our pick and God's pick is two different things. Like so it's just like, yo, who you gonna listen to? Right, right. All right. So what what answer did God give you? Did he say that you could do both? You Well, when it comes to Pamela Long, it, it was just like being a part of Total, because don't get me wrong. People still mm -hmm. love the music. And don't get me don't get me. It's something that I, I know. It is something that I love. I'm, I'm a performer, you know, so it's right. just like I love to get on the stage. And and of course, there are certain things that you got to be careful, which I, I won't sing from from what we had from our resume of music that we had back in the day. Okay. And then also there is just some good music that we had, you know, kissing you. Can't you see mm -hmm. no one else? And it's just like, but because of who God is, it's just like, it's not that route. It's just like, I'm taking you this way, Pamela Long. And it's a way, don't get me wrong, it's, it's very comfortable to be on the stage with your counterparts. You know, it's comfortable doing what it is that you know. Mm -hmm. But when you come outside of your comfort zone and it's just like, you, it's like I'm a new artist, I'm a new baby out here. And it's just like, but at the end of the day, it's just like, God is just showing me like, yo, go my route. Mm -hmm. And I think that that, if not for nothing else, if it's, don't get me wrong. You want your you want your music to hit hard. I'm not, I'm not gonna say you do you as an artist you do music because you want it to hit hard. But what about that one person that you might touch? Right. Being obedient to what it is that you were called to do, and mm -hmm. that's what it's about that one person. And I, and I can honestly say the feedback that I've been getting from this song and a young lady shared something so deep about a testimony that she had given to me, and I screenshotted it on my phone. She was just like when she first heard the original record. She was like, this song still speaks to her because she had, you know, a death of her baby. Her baby was born, stillborn. And she was just like, and that song resonated with her. And she was in a relationship that broke up and all of these things. And she said to me, she's like, you never know who you touch. Keep going. And that right there for me is just like, I'm on the right path. Like, what can, what can you say to that except for God? Thank you for letting me know that even though me as an artist, I've been out here for a, a while, that I still have fears. It's just like, because I don't want to fail. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, you come from bad boy. Like, it's just like, you come from this era of music in the 90s that was just hot. You know, you come with the rock. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you coming from that whole era and as an artist, you don't want to fail. But what God showed me, the reason why I, I say the pan from total thing is just like, you know, I got to cut ties with it. It's mm -hmm. because I believe the hype so much. I believe that that was who I who I was. Mm -hmm. And it was just like when total stopped, it was just like, who am I? And it was just like God had to show me like, yo, look, before total, I, like your name is Pamela Long. I created you. Right. That didn't make you. Puffy didn't make Rachel's you. Rachel just gave me goosebumps. Okay. <laughs> These are the things that God had to take me through. So it's not me throwing shade. It's okay. me having to realize and to remember who I am. She mm -hmm. was a part of my life. She's not who I am. Okay. So it sounded like you really, really needed that break from the industry in order to find yourself. Yeah. And what has been the biggest lesson that you learned about yourself so far? <laughs> the, oh man, uh, that's a that's a question within itself. Um, to be honest, like I have no idea how to answer that. Like, if I to be honest, it's just like I have no idea how to answer that. But there are so many things that I've learned. I've learned mm -hmm. about being truthful. I learned about being honest. I learned about how you can't play with God. I, I learned about how so many things like you can't do. You can't be in the world and and say that you love God. I I, I I've learned how to treat people. I've learned how to become a true person and not walk around phony. Mm -hmm. And so it's just like, those are some of the nuggets that I can just push out there. It's not one thing, It's that's a loaded question. And it's just like, honestly, I'm just like, dog, how do I answer that? But at the same time too, I can answer and say that if I had to tie it all together is that I became a real person. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Now talk to me about the music. You were just talking about the song, Gone. You got the remix out. Right. I was listening to Heartache and it was another one that I was on there listening to as well. It sounds like maybe, uh, have you have you gone through a really, really bad breakup? Like what's, where's the inspiration of this music? Because I was like, somebody hurt Pam. Right, right. Come on. Let me know. We're going to go fight them, Pam. Come on now. <laughs> You know what? And what? Yeah, yes, come on. You know what? Something is that at the time 
my heart was so broken. It was just like, of course, just coming out of a, a marriage that, you know, was separated. And then that was where gone the original record came from. And then it was just like, you know, even with some of the other records, Heartache, that was even before I had gotten married, like God had given me these songs and my heart had gotten damaged and just hurt. And so, but as I started to move forward, and as we said, you know, as I continue to grow, and it's just like now I look at the records of going like the remix is like, um, it's like a new beginning for me. It's like it's a breakup, but at the same time, too, it means something different to me. No longer am I looking at somebody to point the finger, I'm looking at myself. I broke up with me, the right. old me, mm -hmm. you know, that old me that was just, just jacked up and. It was just like, yo, look, I had to look at that girl and be like, yo, I'm gone. I'm out. Like, I can't do this no more. I cannot hold on to you and become who I'm supposed to be. Uh -huh. And so it's just like, and sometimes shedding self is the hardest thing to do. Mm -hmm. But um, it means that to me now more than anything. Of course, the relationship at the time, I thank God for using it because it was just like something that poured out of my heart. But now it's just like, yo, it's a new beginning. So it's just like, I'm happy to be like a friend of mine said, he's like, the song is like you leaving and you out. He's like, but it feels so good. He was just like, it makes you seem like, yo, like you real happy. He's like, it's a fresh beginning for you. And it really is. And it's just because I'm shedding the old and I'm pressing to be new. Mm -hmm. I really am. Yeah. All right. So you're shedding the old, pressing to be new. When is the full album going to drop? You know what? Um, right now, um, I have no idea. Um, I'm going to say it like this. There's a possibility because I thought about doing the whole remix of the album, which, in fact, is going to happen. But right now, I think I like dropping these singles okay. because it's just like it. I don't know if it's a single thing right now. I'm, I kind of that's that's just me. You know, I, I don't have the OK. Like, it's not like I got the stamp and approval from God. Like, you know, and I, I know a lot of times a lot of people are like, oh, you got to get a stamp and approval from God from everything. Pretty mm -hmm. much yes. Because he's created yeah. of my life. Mm -hmm. he, he created all of us. And he just like, yo, check in, check in. Let me let me let you know what I have for you because he knows the best. So I say all that to say that right now, I'm like, yo, let's drop another single. Let's drop another single and let's do this heartache remix um, that you spoke about. Heartache is something might be, it might be. All right. So you talk okay. about you talk about yeah. working on your music, dropping the singles. Right. Uh, are there any other projects that you might be working on that we can look forward to seeing you in as well? You know what? I actually just did a, a record um, with a young lady by the name of Kyla. She's 17 years old. Now, mind you, this was supposed to be a school project. And she is like, Miss Pam, can you do something for me? Um, you know, help me out with my school project. She's like, because I got to have somebody da, 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 in the industry. And I was like, all right, tell me what you want me to do. Uh -huh. So I go to her house and um, her mom, you know, uh, left us there to, to work. And I asked her, I was like, what did you have in mind? And plus she, do, she, do, she does tracks and she's a rapper, right? Mm -hmm. She sings a little bit. So with all of that being said, uh, fast forward, she gave me like the melody of what she wanted me to, to do. So mm -hmm. thank God he blessed me, gave me the lyrics and I'm singing it to her. And she started, you know, she was like, I was like, so you're going to write the rap or whatever. And I'm singing a hook. And I was just like, wait a minute. It was magic. I her mom, I was like, this is a hit. Uh, oh, now, man. mind you, she got an A in her. In a, a a. <laughs> so thank God for that. But uh -huh. because it was such a, a, a hit song that we went to the studio and we did it. So we actually just oh, dropped it on the 20s, um, the, the 21st of July. Mm -hmm. And it actually, the name of the song is called Summer. So I definitely want to make sure that you all get it because it is fire. And the young lady is dope. So it's just like right now, her career is starting to, um, her name is KG. Um, and so with KG, it's just like her career is about to start to just to flourish. So I'm just excited about even being in that genre. She's 17 years old. And so it's just like her friends is listening to Pamela Long. And it's just like, like I said, I'm I'm like a new artist myself. I'm a new artist myself. I'm not even going to say like, like a new artist myself. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, I'm excited. Well, Here's the thing, Pam, because, you know, I was listening to you guys when we were in college. I think we're about the same age. How do you feel now when people say, hey, Miss Pam? Oh, like, yo, like now, I promise you now that the Miss Pam to me, I'm like, oh, man. Like, to, like my, my younger siblings, they'd be like, yes, ma'am. Or my siblings, uh, my nieces and nephews, some of like, yes, ma'am. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, man, my dog. Like, you know, but at the end of the day. I thank God for that, that respect that's still there. So that's something that I got to get together with in my, within myself. I'm 47 years young and I thank God. I don't feel it. I don't look it. Thank God. And so with all of that, it's just like, I'm 
I'm just I'm I'm just enjoying the fact that God has given me an opportunity to speak to this generation now because he didn't have to do it. It's just like, yo, like I turn on a you can. Well, I don't listen to the radio, but I, I, I get the feedback like, yo, you, you on the radio right now. Every time you turn around and it's just like I'm so thankful because I'm just like, yo, like who can do something like this after all 20 plus years mm-hmm. that it's just like. The music that we did then as total with Bad Boy, you know, the hypnotize that I did with Biggie and, you know, the joints that we did with Foxy and Missy, the tripping joint and, you know, the uh, the joint, the remix that we did with Timberland, like all of this great music still playing and with Raphael Sadiq kissing you, you know, it's just like with all of that still going on today, who can put it in rotation like this? And it's just like, I thank God because it just goes to show like he's just to me, that's just like my my. And, me knowing that, okay, God, you still have work for me to do. Like you called me to do this. This is not something I made up in my head. Mm-hmm. And yes, taking you taking me out of the way, mm-hmm. you know, but it's not out of the way. It's your way. Mm-hmm. So that so that I can be in a place of humility. So that I can be in a place where I don't think that it's all about me and this, that, and a third. So it's just like for whatever reasons that he's taking me this way, mm-hmm. I'm grateful and I'm thankful for it. Um, it's not something I would have chose. I say that again. It's not my choice because uh-huh. your choice. All right, God, I'm gonna I'm jump on the stage with 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 total real quick. <laughs> we're gonna go out here. We're gonna get this money. We're gonna <laughs> get the bills, and that's just real. Like, we're gonna get this money, God, to pay these bills. Uh-huh. And then also on the back of that, I'm gonna do the the Pamela along as well. But that's mm-hmm. not the way. So it's just like I'm just grateful for being in a place where I'm making the right choice instead of doing my own thing. Right. I understand. What has been the biggest obstacle in following God's will for your life versus Pam's will for her life? Because, <laughs> you know, that can be a struggle right there because you know what you want to do. And you like, but Lord, please, can I can I do this? And he's like, come on. Come on. Yes, absolutely. Now, the, the, the one of the biggest things is just like is not being in control. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just like, yo, like literally your hands. It's like it's almost like God is like, move. Because right. you're in my way. And mm-hmm. that's the thing. It's just like, you know, we as people, or I can just even say for myself, just me personally, mm-hmm. I've always been in control. Okay, I'm going to drive the car. I'm going to do it this way. It's always going to, that. okay, I'm going to do it a little bit your way, but not completely. Like, I, I think it's a bit of all of us. We right. want to control what we want to control. And when it's right. not going the way we want it, we're like, okay, God, no, no, right. no, 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 hold on. Right. And it's just like, God, like, yo, look, complete surrender. Like, let let go. And and that has been the I'm not, I can't even front. That's been the hardest thing for me. I just was telling um, my manager yesterday. I said to her, I said, I'm in a place in my life where I'm really at that place of surrender, because it was like oh, God kept saying, like, you're not surrendered yet. Like you you think that you're surrendered, but mm-hmm. you're really not surrendered. And my fear was that God, because you might tell me to let go of something. That I don't want to let go. Like, God, I'm willing to let go of that. I'm willing to let go of that. And I'm going to let that go too. But this, God, like, I don't know what I'll do without this. And it's just like, God, it's like, you'll be all right because you're in my will. It's Mm -hmm. not about the things that I accumulate. It's not about the things that I have. It's not the way that I look. It's not any of those things that make me or make me right with God. And that's what I'm learning and it has been a struggle. Like I'm not even gonna front and tell you that it has not been, but because of crying out to God, like I'm really in that place where I'm just like, God, like I surrender, like like you are beautiful, like you are great and you're not gonna hurt me. Even though thing, things might may hurt me, like letting this go may hurt me or this, that and a third, but you're not going to hurt me Mm -hmm. and that's what I'm learning and and that has been yeah I would say that that's the answer for me what has been the biggest thing for you to surrender me Mm -hmm. me you know the the biggest thing to surrender is that it's been myself and and if I had to generalize it if I had to not generalize it but if I had to be specific one of the things that was was um, scary the most was letting go of doing like my music, you know, like, God, what if God says right. that I can't do this anymore, you know? And it's just like, what if God says that he, I can't do it the way that I want to do it? 
-hmm. Okay, God, because God, you know that I'm going, I'm a, I'm a sing, I'm going to rep you. Like God, I'm looking to rep you, whatever it is that I do. Like, but what if God, if he just said, okay, I wanted you to sing at the church. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to sing Jesus. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like if I, if I wanted you to just be it, the girl that used to sing in a park, all like, like in, in sing in front of people and you singing in the park and there's no, no glitz and no glam. And there's nothing behind that Pamela. If I tell you Pamela that I don't want you singing R and B music anymore, what would you do? Mm -hmm. And that thing right there has been like, like, like God, like a pause for me. And then the fact of just wanting, like just the industry because, and it's not so much of me chasing the industry, but it's just me just like, God, this is, this is all I've known as a kid. Like God, all I've ever wanted to do, I didn't want to go to college. And I had my mind like, for real, this is what I said to my mom. I want to go to college. All I want to do is sing. And my mama said to me, she still, she said, okay. Mm -hmm. And that was it. We, I knew she didn't know how it was going to happen or if it was going to happen. But she never came at me any kind of way. So with that, it's just like, that's all I've known. Mm -hmm. And it's just like to think that that can be taken away. That thing is just like, my God, like what, like, what am I going to do without this? Or what am I going to do without the, the, the fact of somebody knowing me as Pam from Total? Because that still pops up for me. Mm -hmm. It may not pop up. You know, sometimes it's just like, yo, like that Pam from Total pops up. And it's just like, okay, this, and I have to remind myself, this is not who I am. Right. Who I am is Pamela Long. Mm -hmm. That's who I am, God. And so it's just like those things. And so, and I thank God that I'm finally in that place where I'm just like, God, look, whatever you want to do, even though God, I'm afraid, like, mm -hmm. even though God, I'm, I'm afraid. And he tells us not to fear. So That's it's right. just like, I'm learning how to let go of that spirit of fear. Cause God, like, I didn't give you no spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning how to let those things go. And, and by being in God's face and just being honest and saying, God, here I am. God, take that from me too. If I'm not supposed to have it, I heard um, my apostle say it one time. She is like, yo, like God, take the, the desire away. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, I'm learning how to be honest with God about everything. Cause before, you know, it's just like, yo, you kind of be like, oh God, I'm good. And God like, yo, look, you can get over on some of the people and say that mess all day long if you want. Mm -hmm. but me, you'll never get over on me because I know everything. And so mm -hmm. that's what I would say. Yeah. All right. You talk about the kids that you mentor. Uh, what What is the one thing that you want your kids and also all of your fans to know as we close out right now? What's the one thing that you want them to remember that you want them to know about Pamela Long? Um, if I wanted somebody to know, if I wanted them to know something about Pamela Long, I'll, I'll say it this way. I'm not going to say so much about Pamela Long, but I want them to know that God is everything. Wow. Like if you have, she's God. Girl, you're preaching today. I'm like, I don't got goosebumps. I might want to cry a little bit, but you're yeah, going. That thing just, it just, it, it, it choked me up a little bit because it's just like, man, at the end of the day, people can look at Pamela Long all day and see all the flaws because mm -hmm. I'm going to fail. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be perfect. And that's something that I've had such a another issue with always trying to be perfect and have this this uh, this thing and that says like, yo, I'm good and and everything is OK when it's not, you know. Mm -hmm. And but what I can say is that if you keep your eyes on God and if you don't know him, that today could be the day that God is saying, I'm reaching out to you. Like, yo, I'm reaching out and I want you to know me personally. And the way you go about that is through my son, Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you that your life, it's not to say that you won't go through nothing. It's not to say that you won't have ups and downs and bumps in the road, but you won't have to face it anymore. And so that's what I would tell people. Don't look at me because I have flaws, but that does not give me an excuse to uh -huh. do whatever it is that I want to do. I'm not saying that to any of them. What I am saying is that keep your eyes on God and not people because people will fail all the time. Mm -hmm. But God is the only one that will never fail and he will never lie. And awesome. that if he said it, that's awesome. All right, Pam, you don't took us to church today. You got to tell people how they can find you. Where can they download your music? All of that good stuff, girl. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm really so excited about this yeah. interview today. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. definitely a fan for sure. So talk Yo, to that me. Bless me. And, um, <laughs> I'm sitting over here trying to get my little self together, not be all choked up, you know, and um, God is just so good, man. And if you want to look out for your girl, Pamela Long, check me out on IG, um, Pamela Long Forever. 
um, Facebook, Pamela Long. I believe Twitter is Pamela Long One or either Pamela Long Forever, whichever one. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and then for TikTok, I am Pamela Long Forever. Oh, I believe or just Pamela Long. I don't know. I, it's something that I don't even know all these handles. But uh -huh. at the end of the day, it's just like man. If you if you do find me and if you do follow me, praise God. If not, man, listen, follow the one that matters the most. No doubt. What you got on TikTok, Pam? You know what? Um, I actually am on TikTok right now, and I actually um just been putting up because I haven't been on I haven't done the TikTok thing really, so I've been just using it for promotions, and it's just like it's really good to see people like chiming in and and getting the numbers up on as far as the gone remix, the video just was put up today. And um, as my manager, she was saying that it, I don't know how good it's doing right now, but I'm, I'm thank God, like people are just, you know, looking at it and starting to be like, oh, Pamela, it's good to hear your voice and yes. all of that stuff. And also, and before I check out of here, I just wanted to uh, let it be known. I actually am finishing up going through the edits of my book. It's a new book um, by myself, Pamela Long, and it's called Unmasked. And um, so I'm looking forward to dropping that. Um, I don't have the date as of yet, but before the year is out, I believe that the book will be out. And uh, well, I'll right. tell you what, when you drop the book and when you drop the upcoming album, you got to come back, talk to yes, us okay. about it and all of that good stuff. Okay. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. Olympia, no thank doubt. you for this time. It was, it was really, really dope. And I'm, I'm just grateful for it. Right. No doubt. Anytime, Miss Lady, for sure. Yes, yes ma'am. All right. It's Pamela Long right here on 105.3 R&B with Olympia D. Yes.